All right, so finally got my uh, Eastwood welding cart assembled. Uh, certainly not, this is, it's funny, the box says Eastwood, and I wanna say I spent, see there was like discounted to like 179 bucks, or it was like 230 bucks. I don't remember what it was. But I was looking at a welding cart and I, I saw this and I was like, well, I'll get this one. Um, full disclaimer, I have never welded anything in my life. Even the welder and the plasma cutter, they're all brand new. Um, I've never welded a single thing in my life. So I will, uh, I will learn. Um, but anyway, talking about the cart. So I got this cart and it has a lot of 10 millimeter screws nuts and bolts that holds it together um and uh, the next biggest ones are the the ones that hold the the front swivel casters on they're uh 14 millimeter and i think the casters are probably the most robust thing on this cart um which i was looking at the casters for my drill press because they seem quality um they're made in china but they they're none less quality they um yeah, they seem quality for this this piece of equipment. The only thing I wish they had was a lock-in caster because those larger wheels in the back does not have um, any type of lock-in mechanism. So this thing, um, depends on where you have it, could easily just start rolling away on its own. Otherwise, um, it's a pretty decent, yes. Is it a professional grade? I'm gonna have to say no. Um, it's just... It's certainly not professional grade. It depends on how much you're gonna bang this thing up. Um, you know, it's certainly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is professional grade. It's definitely a DIY grade. And it definitely, if you're the type that will take care of your stuff, it will last you a while. Is it? Is it gonna hold the largest, you know, welder and plasma cutter? No, because it doesn't even fit this one um, as good. Um, hanging off the side. It has a little ridge right here that is meant to, I guess they probably have a, a welder that probably fits in between this little ridge and it can, kind of retains it. Well, this certainly doesn't have that. Well, I would say this is, this 40 is too big for it. Um, so yeah, maybe the price, and the thing about it, it says Eastwood, but nothing on this, it doesn't have a sticker, it doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to signify the brand. Um, so it's clearly just a, an item they just threw in a box. Um, yeah, I don't really care, but at least put a sticker on it or something. I don't know. Own it. Um, stand behind your product if you're going to, you're going to sell it and you're going to market it as, you're going to market it as your own on the box. Um, and even the manual I think has Eastwood on there. Um, it does have a little place back here for your your bottle um, with a little chain that hooks in. You just hook one of them right into there. And there you go. Um, and then obviously you, you would have access to all your connections down here as necessary. It does have two hooks, one on either side. As you can see, I've kind of maxed these hooks out already. Not very much. I might have to put additional hooks on the side um, as necessary. And then you have this handle right here, which honestly, I'm 6'1", six, six and I'm having to lean, bend over to like manipulate this thing. I guess I could hold it by this, but As, as a design, this thing does, I mean, you're gonna have to bend over to cart this thing around. Um, but I mean, it rolls smoothly. Um, yeah. A quick little talk about, so this is a, I'll probably do a, a separate video on it, but as I become more in tune to welding, but this is a, um, a 40, I believe that's how you say their name. F O R N E Y. Forney. Um, they're out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, but this is a 220 multi processor. 
um, welder. Um, and then below there we have a 40p uh, plasma cutter, which it fits perfectly down there. Um, and then I got the manual up there because, like I said, I haven't welded in a day in my life, so uh, I gotta. I mean, you can tell the cap is still on here, all this stuff. I gotta figure out assembly of this and figure out how to kind of function test it and and try to, you know, break some stuff, make some stuff look good, and then learn the process of welding self-taught um, but yeah I figure I'd go with this brand um, no rhyme or reason I initially had the Lincoln in mind um, but I saw this and uh, maybe I like the green uh, so maybe maybe it's the green that got me but I've had this for a few months now I just haven't like everything else it's just been chaotic so I'm just getting around of stuff um, so I'll get this far in the assemble process and then I won't touch it for the next two months because um, I don't do this stuff for a living, right? So it's not crucial. I'm not using it day in, day out. Um, what else? I do have a, I did get a, a two or 50 amp outlet and 220 outlet install. And this is a 30 amp, I think, for my um, steam cleaner. But this is a 50 amp for this welder. Um, I believe it's a, it does come with a pigtail adapter for both the, I mean, you can see that I have two of them right here, but pigtail adapter for the, you can plug the 220 end in and still have, you can plug it in the 110. But everyone knows that 220 is better. Um, as far as operating an equipment like this. Um, as far as, uh, I do have a weld a welding helmet. Um, that's just, it's in that closet over there. Um, I do have two, oh, it's not a Lincoln. It's, ah, oh, man. I forgot the name of the, co the company, but it's two fold-in um, welding tables that are about 29 by 29. Um, 29 by 29 inches, so, and they fold up nicely, so we'll see if I actually have them in the garage, but I do have them in my shed currently. Um, I at least have a pliers, one of them little pliers. I need to get like a little chipping hammer or something of that sort. Um, but I do have a couple welding accessories that I started collecting in anticipation of, uh, you know, getting into welding. Like, um, if you've been watching my channel, you notice I, um, I try to do a bit of everything. I am a jack of all trade and a master of none. Um, so this is my uh, one of my newest hobbies. And this is also, like I said in a previous video, I'm gonna talk about why this tile floor over, um, you know, any of the hard plastic ones or something, the prefab ones. And that's probably one of the reasons why, because I mean, I can weld in here um, if you will, in like an open space. If for some reason I can't do it out in my driveway or something or in the backyard. So, um, that's a, anyway, that's a different topic. Um, I don't really have much to say about these. Um, I mean, I can, I can plug it in. And we can see, we can see some lights turn on together. This is the this is the welder, and I should be able to plug it into this bad boy here. Let's see. So it's plugged in, and I've never messed with this thing before, but I did. I remember I plugged it in once. It has a thing on the back. Hopefully I'm not doing anything contrary to the manual right now, especially nothing is hooked up. I don't know, fan goes up, we got VA. It looks like we can change some numbers here. IPM, we can change some numbers here. You got, so here's a, um, here's what it can do. You got DC stick, 
DC TIG lift and CV MIG. Ooh, see? Just cycling through them. That one causes something to click on. Yeah, so even this button is a little positive feel on it. Yeah, Fort Collins, USA. So, and this is the 410. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make a different video about this when I become more familiar with it. I think I have all the pieces. Um, so it has a, looks like it has a little delay in there between me turning it off and walking around. You can hear it went through this motion. Um, and then there's the plasma, um, plasma cutter. Let's see, is that cord readily accessible? Let's see if I can plug that in. Of course, I'm gonna have to undo the cords. One thing I, uh, I do like about these things, they are bulky. Of course, they're gonna be bulky, but even the quality of these uh, leads and stuff and just, all the pieces, man. When I picked it up, I was quite surprised at how how beefy all the wires are. Um, but I'll do another review on this later on. All right, so now this is gonna be the plasma cutter. Um, I do have a 50 foot I believe I have, a, I have a 25 foot, is it 25 foot? I wanna say it's a 25 foot extension. So I am by no means chained to this um, outlet. Uh, obviously extension um, takes away from stuff, but uh, yeah, I do have an extension that I picked up also. All right, so this is a flow gauge, part of Forney, it looks like. Looks like they might have just got their sticker in there, their label in. And this might be manufactured somewhere else, maybe. Made in Taiwan. Yeah. Got your, your air input and your water separator right here. Let's turn this bad boy on. Can't run around. Okay, so it came on. So the fan starts up and it does something and it does nothing else. Like I said, I haven't read on all of this stuff and how it all works, but um, yeah, cool. I'll get to see that in action. Um, and yeah, we'll power it back down. We'll see if it, yep, it has a delay. There you go. So, you know just as much as I know about this whole thing. Um, but the Eastwood cart, it works. It's, it's DIY, but certainly not DIY price. Um, yeah. It's my opinion. I'll uh, eventually I'll talk more about welding and my progress through there and some of the tools I've picked up for welding um, and to, to learn. Um, and as I deep dive stuff more, um, maybe I'll come across and say, hey, you know, there's a better um, unit to go with. Obviously there's like commercial grade. Like those uh, welders, um, what's that brand? It's blue in color. That brand you always see on like service trucks, um, those big welders, but um, this is also space savings. So I don't really have the space for the pro grade stuff for everything, which I do. I, for me personally, I rather just get pro grade um, in everything I do versus, you know, starting here and then upgrading. I rather just learn one thing and have a quality thing from the, from the start. Um, 
and you cry once also. Anyway, this is that. I need to run in the house and um, do some stuff inside the house and stay out of the garage for the rest of the day. Because, uh, I don't know, the garage is pretty cool. I come in here and I play with all this stuff that's a cluttered mess. Um, my buddy was here this past weekend on Friday and we, we changed his oil, service his car um, for his wife. Um, and I noticed on his, uh, his drain plug, I was like, does he have a crush washer? And he was like, no. And then I looked closer at the washer and the washer had been reused so many times it had pretty much embedded its, em itself into the bolt. So anyway, that was fun. We just put it back on there because he didn't have a, a crush washer available. Um, but certainly he needs to get that replaced. But anyway, this is one step progress towards getting this thing set up. Um, where this is probably gonna live right here naturally because this is where it's, it's kind of made to be. Um, and this is where I'll probably get the most functionality out of it if I leave it right next to, you know, where it belongs, where it plugs in. So we'll see how that works out. Um, if I have to move it, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, it looks pretty, uh, pretty professional, pretty unused also. I know someone's gonna say that, but whatever. Anyway, like me, I always say, like on anything.